I don't have a problem with people calling it something new, but I do have a problem with people forgetting our history, that people lived in what I still call Bruce Town and the Meadows. This quote from a longtime resident of the area reminds us that our work is not simply to save the buildings, but to preserve communities. When conducting a field school, it is important to remember that many stakeholders in a neighborhood have strong connections with the past. Oral history interviews let stakeholders know that their role in the neighborhood is important. Oral history interviewees create an overview of a neighborhood and provide the surveyor with knowledge that can be used to interpret the neighborhood, leads to other people who can be interviewed, and clear up confusion when observations of a site need clarification. Candidates for oral history interviews can be obtained by contacting local history societies and neighborhood associations. During the interview process, other names can be suggested by interviewees. Open-ended questions cannot be answered with a simple yes or no. Interviewees should be able to elaborate on their stories. Even though you should prepare questions in advance, listening to the interviewee can generate new questions. Here are the neighborhood residents that you will be interviewing. Yvonne Giles, a longtime resident of the neighborhood and noted local and African American historian. Valentine Gomez and his two daughters, Isabella and Maria. They immigrated to the United States 15 years ago. Both daughters attended the local schools and are preparing to enter college next year. Art Lawson a retired librarian and lifelong resident of the North End. Art is the third generation of his family to live in his house near Castlewood Park. Welcome to No Lie. 